Addison Rae has spoken out about Kourtney Kardashian's previous relationship with Scott Disick. Let's take a closer look. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover Addison Rae doesn't think exes Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick are destined to be together. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our future contents. Without any further ado, let's hop right onto it. On Thursday's edition of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, the 20-year-old actress and TikTok star discussed her friendship with Kardashian, whom she's become closer to over the past year. Ray was asked by Andy Cohen, Do you think Courtney and Scott are destined to be together? No, Ray gave an emphatic response to the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star, 42, and Disick, 38, who dated on and off for nearly a decade before finally divorcing in 2015. Mason, 11, Rain, 6 are the couple's kids and Penelope, 9, is their daughter. Cohen grilled the He's All That star about the latest turmoil involving Disick and another of Kardashian's ex-boyfriend, Eunice Benjima. Disick is said to have written the Algerian model Instagram DMs condemning Kardashian's PDA with her new boyfriend, Travis Barker. Were you surprised by all the drama with Scott DMing? The Bravo producer inquired, but Ray evaded the question. Was I surprised? Oh my gosh, I feel like this is not my question to answer, she said, before turning to fellow guest Jason Biggs and asking him the same question. Were you surprised? Ray claims she gets along pretty well with all of them, but has spent much more time with Kylie Jenner, the younger member of the Kardashian-Jenner family. I feel like we've hung out a little bit more, she said. Ray and Kardashian met through YouTuber David Dobrik, who introduced them after Kardashian's son Mason became a fan of Ray's TikToks. They struck it off right away after meeting. Ray stated during an appearance on the Tom Ward show last year, I kind of just stuck around and we got really close, she said. Their friendship was featured on the most recent season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians earlier this year. And Kardashian even appeared in Ray's new Netflix film, He's All That. No one can fall in love for the sake of ratings, as Kourtney Kardashian once said. As much as fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians may wish for Kourtney and Scott Disick to be the final couple, that is not the case. The exes reflect on what went wrong in an exclusive sneak peek from part 2 of the Keeping Up With The Kardashians reunion, which airs Sunday, June 20. Scott's substance usage was clearly at the center of it. The show's host wonders if Courtney and Scott would still be dating if Scott had kept his sobriety, and the parents of three agreed that they would. Sorry, this is just so deep, Kylie Jenner says, laughing nervously. The host then wonders aloud as to whether Scott and Courtney had been intimate in the five years after they divorced. Court confirms, people cannot believe that, but we have not. For real, Scott quips, how annoying. So how was their relationship before they broke up? Courtney brags about how happy she and Scott are. Mason, Rain, and Penelope describe their parents as great friends and co-parents, with Scott adding, we're family. I think we always will be. Scott's sobriety troubles were the final straw in Courtney's nine-year on-again, off-again romance. The New York native saw treatment for the first time in 2017 and then again in 2020. I mean, the infidelity, I only knew about it at the end, Courtney claims. So I think the substance abuse was the deal breaker. The host wonders if Scott's alcoholism contributed to his bad behavior in relationships, but Scott refuses to put a label on his journey. When asked if he wants to be monogamous, he says, Yes, now is the time. I was young at the time and didn't understand the distinction. Chris Jenner is quick to point out that Scott began filming Keeping Up With The Kardashians when he was just 23 years old. Scott, on the other hand, admits to feeling a certain way when Courtney is dating other men. Scott quips when asked if he gets irritated or uncomfortable watching Courtney date. Me? No, I just want to kill them. Scott had been dating model Amelia Hamlin since November 2020, while Courtney had been linked and inked to Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker since December 2020. Although the family appears to approve of Courtney's new relationship, Chloe claims that nobody was happy with her sister's most recent ex. Scott was there for her through it all. I was still there trying to help her through. What are your thoughts on these issues? Do you agree with Addison Rae? In your own perspective, is Courtney and Scott destined to be together? Let us know in the comment section below. 
that's it for today if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys we're signing off for now but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one